हेलो एवरीबॉडी आई एम डॉक्टर जितेंद्र पांडे फ्रॉम उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑन दिस कोर्स ऑन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ मूव वेयर वी विल फोकस ऑन स्ट्रेटजीज एंड टिप्स फॉर ऑनलाइन कोर्स डेवलपमेंट फॉर स्वयं इन दिस मॉड्यूल आई शैल बी फोकसिंग ऑन वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वाड्रेंट ऑफ मूव that is design and development of e contents after completing this module the learner shall be able to differentiate between adopt adapt and creation of text contents analyze reason for adoption of a textbook find possible ways to adapt an open textbook suggest steps for adoption of an open textbook define oer explain 5r framework estimate the benefits of using oers for the faculty and the students evaluate oers for possible adoption and adaptation describe possible ways to incorporate oers into teaching list popular oer initiatives of government of india explain copyright fair use public domain and open licenses examine the reasons for licensing a resource compare different creative common licenses search oers from directories repositories and platforms and release a resource as an oer the mooc which are developed for swayam should follow the four quadrant approach the four quadrant approach means e learning system that has the following components quadrant 1 is e tutorial which shall contain video and audio content in an organized form animations simulations video demonstrations virtual labs etc quadrant 2 is e content which shall contain pdf text ebooks illustrations video demonstrations documents and interactive simulations wherever required quadrant 3 is web resources which shall contain relevant links wikipedia development of course open source content on internet case studies research papers and journals historical development of the subject articles etc quadrant 4 is self assessment which shall contain problems and solutions which could be in the form of mcq fill in the blanks matching questions short answer questions long answer questions quizzes assignments and solutions discussion forum topics and setting up of faqs in this module we are going to focus on design and development of e content for an online course the team prepared the content based on the model curriculum prescribed by the regulators and updated with the recent development in the field whenever required in the case of new course a team of expert will arrive at a suitable curriculum this may involve repurposing the e content created elsewhere text files in a course shall be sufficient to bring in all material required by an average student and shall be around 3000 words for one hour content these are some of the important guidelines that one need to keep in mind for developing e content we'll start with defining oers and open licenses followed by guidelines for course adoption and adaptation before introducing oers let me share some of the facts about higher education in india and these facts and observations are based on this report As per AISHE 2018-19 data, the country had 903 universities, 
39,050 colleges and 10,011 other standalone training institutions. And these institutions cater over 34 million learners. Learners in general education use about 17 to 27 percent of their personal expenditure for textbooks, while learners in professional education spend about 9 to 11 percent of their spendings. Rural learners spend more on textbooks than urban learners. 54.6% of male learners and 64.2% of female learners discontinue their studies due to financial constraints. On an average, learners in general education spend over 2 billion rupees annually to purchase textbooks, which is a large sum of money. With the increase in the access of internet, the availability of educational resources also increased. With the emergence of open courseware movement, UNESCO coined the term open educational resources in 2002 at a forum on the impact of open courseware for higher education in developing countries. OER was originally conceived to support education, but now they are also seen as an alternative to traditional textbooks in some countries. Open educational resources are any type of educational material that are in the public domain or are introduced with an open license. Anyone can legally and freely copy, use, adapt and reshare them. OER recognized the importance of flexibility, reuse, and sharing the resource created. This approach has been summarized by David Willey in his 5 hours approach of reuse, remix, retain, revise, and redistribute. This framework emphasized the point that all OER users are able to carry out any of these activities with the content. Materials can be retained and reused. If the content of the resource is no longer current, it can be revised by the user. They can combine and remix the part of the OER with the existing material. Whether they do or do not make any changes to the material, they are also able to redistribute or share the contents. Any subsequent user are also able to adapt, combine and share the material and so on. The OER is based on the culture of sharing and learning, encouraging the teachers and the students to adopt existing OER, adapt and share it with others to maintain the cycle of collaboration and continuous improvement. What benefit does OER brings? For students, they are cost-effective means for obtaining information about a particular area of study. Resources provided to students can be customized to best suit their learning needs, making the material relevant and engaging. In some cases, there may be an option for the students to contribute to the development or improvement of OER and contribute to the ongoing cycle of OER development and improvement. For educators, it is an option for saving time by making and building an existing education material. In many cases, the academicians are able to pick and choose segments of a particular resource and create their own OER. OERs can provide the opportunity to collaborate with other academicians of the world and increase the chance of communication and collaborations. OERs take variety of forms which includes videos, texts, diagrams, simulations, etc. There is also a variety of textbooks available online which can be used as a core or a supplementary text. 
Now the next question that comes to our mind is how OERs can be incorporated into teaching? We can incorporate learning activities into the class material, reuse digital assets in learning material, adopt an open textbook in course reading, adopt modules in course structure and we can involve students to develop an OER textbook. Several projects to create learning resources have been initiated with the support of Government of India. NPTEL has emerged as a flagship initiative for engineering and basic science courses. The resources are released under open license. Then we have NROER which is initiated by Department of School Education and it is managed by Central Institute of Education Technology and NCERT. The repository runs on Meta Studio platform. Then we have Spoken Tutorial which is a project by IIT Bombay. The student can learn various free and open source softwares using this portal and these portals, uh, these courses available on this portal are self-paced and multilingual. Then we have NIOS OER. I hope you will find this information useful. Thank you.